Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and today I'm not going to be talking about the coronavirus, but not in this video anyway. Um, it's about um, the DWP having to pay out nearly a million pounds to Windrush people. You know, um, I don't know how many of you know this. If you're not from the UK, you probably won't, but you have probably heard that around in 2018, um, well, between 2016 and 2018, a lot of Windrush um, generation were penalised because they didn't have any documentation. And this was this fell out of the hostile environment policy, which was a policy designed to make it really difficult for anyone in the UK who didn't have proper documentations to get any benefits, to get a place to live, to get a job. And they put um, they put schemes in place that would render these people either homeless, jobless or whatever. And it didn't mean that these people were illegal. What it meant was these people just didn't have the documentation from the 1960s or 70s to prove that they were legally resident in the country. Well, what's happened now is that DWP has had to pay back 400 Windrush, um, what do I call them? Well, members of the Windrush generation, 400 of them, for, not, for um, wrongfully st stopping their pay. I don't know all their benefits or whatever it is. I don't know how that, if that can um, reinstate them and put them on a solid footing. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure how that stands in, you know, in terms of jobs, in terms of their homes, in terms of housing, in terms of everything else that goes with it, because it's just not one element that gets stopped. It's not just only any health benefits, unable to use the hospital. It is being kicked out of your job, being kicked out of your home if you are a rental, if you're renting, and that is how big the impact is. So I am pleased to say that nearly a million has been paid out. Apparently this was brought to the fore because of the Windrush Compensation Scheme, and um, they are really hot on the, tail, on the trail, and I'm glad that they're really looking into this and informing us um, what's going on because otherwise we wouldn't know. And once I know, you know. I'm always scouting around for new bits of information. So that's all for now. Short and sweet. Bye-bye.